In the bottom left, our red Terran. He's down one game. Can he come back? We'll see. One of the most handsome Terrans in the GSL. There he is. Take it all in, guys. Mm. Handsome fellow. Certainly is. But that's right. Oh, really? See, we got international nerds here. Very nice. <laughs> Making fun of his friend and everything, man. Yeah, man, that's what you got to do. In the upper left, the handsome rival of MMA. He is. You know what? The only reason a Swedish person would be watching from Sudan is? Uh, no, I don't. He's in Sudan, obviously. That's like the easiest question. To ah, like, of course. Gimme, man. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. What unit was that? Was that a Marauder? Yeah, it certainly was. What? There's some kitchen. What, what, what is it called? A strainer? What's a strainer. Yeah. yeah, the Marauder has a, a strainer he wears for one. a head. Yeah, he wears a strainer. Yeah. He's like the Goomba from the Mario movie. He's got this little tiny head on this huge body. Oh, you know the Mario movie was so weird. It was the worst thing it ever was, created. It was Let's not like, even talk about it. No, so I bad. think we actually we need to talk about this. Do we? Because Are I remember, sure? I remember like. I was a really, we were pretty young when that movie came out. We were pretty young, man. But I remember, yeah, I, I went and saw the Mario movie and I was like, what happened? I just don't. What was the opposite What did of you good. do to Mario? It was like the, the most terrible thing ever. I was like, that's, that's not a Goomba. No, it wasn't no, Goomba that's, at all. It was actually the reverse of a Goomba. I was like, like, let's, let's interpret this in a different way than the truth. So I'm like, like right. <laughs> you know, if you look actually, um, because that was actually basically like, I think the movie was made by Westerners, right? That was like Westerners screwing up. Uh, I, I Japanese don't care game who it was, man. You sometimes you see the opposite of this, like in some of these older uh, Japanese games, you'll see the, like the old Ninja Turtle games. Like yeah. you're like fighting stuff that's not from the Ninja Turtles movie. I'm like, who are these guys? Like, <laughs> that's not a foot soldier or one of those mouser things. That's quite true. Well. Remember yeah. the Dragon Ball Z movie? Whoa! Yeah, that I had to that, pause it. That like, movie plays 24 hours a day in hell, Artosis. Yeah. I, I had to pause it like 10 times and just re-go re to that part to finish it. Because I was like, well, I'm the sickest Dragon Ball Z fan of all time. I have to watch it. And it was like, I wish I hadn't. I wish I could go back in time and just tell myself no. Do like the Men in Black thing and erase your memory? Yeah, that would be nice. There is actually... No, because oh. then no, I wouldn't do that because then I wouldn't hate it. Oh, I wouldn't that's hate true. whoever made that Ooh, movie. That's, you're so and smart. I need to hate that person. Hate um, shouldn't exist, but in this case, it absolutely. I actually should. saw the Dragon Ball Z movie on a plane, and I was just like, "Oh my god, I don't even know." I think I should just turn this off and stare at the seat. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how bad true. it was. All right, on to this game. Well, we do have a double gas going for Optimus as well as for MMA. Looks like they may both be going for Cloak Banshees here. In fact, Cloak starts for MMA immediately. Before the Banshee, even. Yep. And Optimus still going for a start but he's making a Sea Chink. He's making Marines. I think Optimus is going to do a very similar build to the last game, where he's really ready uh, with a strong early push. But MMA, he's not going Command Center first this time. He's going to be much more prepared, especially with Cloak Banshees. You know, I really got to say, that when I watch Optimus Prime play uh, Terran vs. Terran, I, you can really see the guy is quite gifted. Mm. I mean, he just reads things so well. He does read things pretty well, Taste. That is for sure. And That's I think what happens it, when you go to school. You get good at reading. Yeah. Have to read books all the time. He wears glasses. He reads lots of books. Clearly. Is it true? I've heard that reading a lot of books is actually not so good for your eyes. I mean, obviously, it's more important to read the books. I, I, think I, it I just heard that somewhere. It, it, I think it just matters. Do you strain your eyes? Will strain. Yeah, that's that's what it comes down to. And look at that. The scan sees the factory with no add on. That tells that's him it is Banshee. Away. Yeah, yeah. That's he doesn't need to see the starport to know. Without any doubt. And if you see two gases, which he did see as well, that means cloak. Because if you're just going Banshee off of uh, starport, you don't need cloak. So. Um, that's actually why we see a lot of Terrans just scanning the uh, or you don't over need the orbital. Gas. I, I just totally fumbled what I was saying. It's okay. Why? I was just going to let it slide. But Thank you. Uh, we have that. the Banshee now moving in here to the back of Optimus's base. He's got a micro well against these Marines. Uh, Mr. Turret is being thrown out very smart by Optimus. And it's getting a little bit messy. He was actually hitting that turret for a second. Well, I'm sure that's something he would love to get out of there. Doing a lot of getting damage. Getting a lot of kills here. Oh, very nice. We have a Banshee coming in here to the uh, MMA space, hitting the uh, Tech Lab. That's an interesting move. Yeah, and actually, little does he know, if he went after the, the Mineral Line, there's only two Marines out here, Tasteless. Yeah, I think he's assuming that there's actually more... Um, 
Yeah, I don't or, know what's wrong uh, with a that. turrets or something. I don't know what it's a little exactly bit, his game yeah. plan is from here. A little bit of a mistake there. But uh, we do have Cloak going up as well. For I don't Optimus. even feel like Optimus is actually watching this Banshee very carefully. He's, mm. The Banshee's attacked both the tech labs. Seems like he's he's so busy oh. right his own base. And look at that. Does end up taking out the Banshee. But a tech lot of lab. damage has been done. Banshee's Cloak. SCD's coming out to try to repair this. You know, this is an interesting move here because this does force SCDs to come out to repair that. Yeah. So I guess it's... Uh, well, he still has 10 kills on it, and... No, he's going to get out. That. Ooh, saving the blue out. flame upgrade. Oh, no, he didn't. Excuse me, I thought he was going to escape. Yeah, no, but he saved the blue flame upgrade, so MMA is going to be very, very happy about that part. Second Banshee now oh coming God. in here. He's got to be careful. He does have another scan left after this, so he can go ahead and uh, continue to kill that. But he has a Raven on the way as well. He may just let that Tech Lab die. Tech Labs do not take that long to build. They aren't that expensive. Well, the upgrade's finished too, so it's, yeah. it's actually okay. And look, he's going to make the barracks make the next Tech Lab. Probably swap that right over there. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a Raven out and ready. And there's a Raven as well. So both players get their Ravens out. And the Banshee does die as the Raven comes out. That's so Raven. That is so Raven. That Raven's going to be going to a, a, a rave later on. Yeah. <laughs> Rave on! He's gonna, it's like flame on. He's going to have like his so baby sucker in his mouth and his glow sticks wiggling around. Um, looks like the Blue Bum Hellions peaked up the ramp. And you know what? This game might actually turn into the exact same game as what we saw before. Uh, he can actually attack. You see the bunker on the low ground. Well, MMA he is getting ready to land his command at the expand. But Optimus is expanding as well. You know, I feel like both of them are kind of much more ready than last game. Even though yeah. still MMA doesn't have a huge great army, uh, he may be able to hold it off this time. You know, he's not completely have caught off guard. Now, as far the, as SCVs the, go, they're very even, by the way, Jace. If I may interject for just a moment. 30 to 28 at the moment. So, pretty even overall, but we do have seven more supply for Optimus. Now, realistically, the only thing that uh, Optimus has to do here to get ahead is force the orbital to lift off. Go back into the main. Uh-oh! Hellions bumping into those siege tanks unexpectedly. I think we may see MMA bring down a lot more SCDs to try to repair this. And see that, guys? See how much damage that does, how quickly those bunkers get destroyed. And he's going to want to lure those Marines up with that Banshee with that banshee there. And uh, nice micro auto this time. Auto turret again. Great auto turret. More going. auto turrets being casted down here. But the siege tanks are in siege mode. Uh, those SCDs are going to have to get in front of the siege tanks, most importantly. But, um, you know, it's not entirely clear. And MMA will hold. Whose Banshee is that? Is that MMA's Banshee? That's MMA's okay. Banshee right there, man. You can't tell who's, who's that easily when they're close, but uh, they each have one Banshee left over. And wow, this has turned out a little bit weird, I have to say. Yeah, it's, kind of a funky game here. And once again, their SCVs are very similar, and their supplies are pretty much the same Their supplies right are identical right now. Yeah. Huh. Well, this one Banshee, though, parked over here. Yeah, well, as long as it can stay out, it's going to do a ton of damage here. Meantime, Micro in here, and look at that. He might be able to get that Siege Tank as well. Some more Marines are on the way to try to help it. Oh, but they turned around. They're scared. The coward Marines. Oh, and he's oh! Gonna lose it. You know, MMA, remember last time he flew that Banshee into a turret? <laughs> he yeah. pulled the, the best bow you. Well, um... I think we're gonna, we saw a little bit of that again just there. Mm -hmm. Counterattack here with Hellions is Optimus gonna be prepared. He does have a Banshee, tanks, and Marines, but then again, Hellions are pretty fast. They may opt to just not engage and in fact, just go around. Yeah, you may try to do a run by or something, but they do run away. That would have been a lot of damage. He's gonna be scared at the top of that ramp. He does know that there's a wall in, so if that's up and he tries to run by, things go poorly. Look at this. I love this right now, Tasteless. There's very little anti-air over here for Optimus. And this Banshee is just going to work at the moment. With only a few Marines out, it's not even scared. It's picking off these SCVs, picking off mules. It's really greatly done with this, this Banshee. It's really giving MMA a, a, a leg up. MMA is fighting right now for his tournament life. This Banshee's pretty low on HP, but... MMA very carefully backs off, knowing that just one or two shots from a Marine and that Banshee will crash into that Abyss. Yeah. See how dramatic I made that? It actually would have just blown up, but I make it sound like it crashes well, into an Abyss. Well, where do you think the pieces go, Tasteless? Into the Abyss. Yeah. So that's kind of like crashing into the Abyss. Kind of. Well, 
We see that Optimus once again. He's opting for Optimus does opt. Yeah, I must say. No, he can for Marine uh, Sea Chank Marauder. Very. Um, I don't. Well, I, it's it's, eh. it's middle of the road play. That's for sure. Yeah, you know, if if he doesn't do the transition and mass siege tanks with it, I'm going to be wondering a little bit what his thought process is because when you go up against uh, a pure mech composition, you can't really stay on Marine Rotter. You can use them to help supplement, to gain map control, get an extra base up, and help supplement your siege tanks in a contain scenario as you transition into you know, more flying units and more siege tanks. But anything other than that is a little bit short-sighted. Have you noticed how good MMA is at moving these Hellions all over the map? He's actually checking mm. every possible location for anything hidden. Yeah, that's actually quite beautiful. It's a beautiful. sign of a very good player. Thank you for pointing that out, Taste. This is quite true. You know, that's that's one thing not enough players do yet. They, you have to constantly scout the whole map. What if Optimus had an extra base up? Yeah. You know, almost every time someone hides a base in uh, StarCraft II Pro games, you're like, wow, this is making a huge difference because people don't scout well enough. You know, we may see yet another push here from Optimus. He's definitely been the one who's been the aggressor in this game. Mm. And, and I think what he, what he wants to do is he knows that mech is very powerful, which is what MMA is going for, but he also knows it's hard to get mech set up and going. Exactly, it takes a yeah. while. Well, I think that it's, it's a great timing for him to go out there and see if he can do any damage. Uh, and he might be able to, but MMA is setting up in a nice location. Yeah, I don't know if he can go into those seats. Oh, we have a drop over here. Excuse me. Oh, very nicely done. That's slowing down the Optimus push. Well, well, he's just that. And die. here we go. Optimus is just going for it, man. But he has a lot of units here. And we'll have to see that. He may regret Hellions. this. He's stamped. He's committed. Well, I think he may have enough here. Well, actually, apparently, yeah, he has way more than enough. Yeah, MMA. Out I did of not position. actually think that MMA was going to lose that that badly. I'm yeah, really surprised. I guess it's the few marauders in that group really messes everything up. Oh, they certainly do taste this. I mean, but here's the thing: with Mech, you have to actually just kind of turtle up for a moment. You know, you have to sit in front of your base and really have the most defensive posture possible, but so things like that don't happen. Looks like he might actually hold this. There's one Banshee that's damaging all of Optimus' units. I mean, uh, but Optimus is actually taking out so many workers. Yeah. And if you look at the supplies, that's really where the story's been told. 64 supply to 85. Yeah, that's that's very true. And, uh, you know, that army that was lost for both players, it's going to be a little bit harder for Optimus, I mean, for MMA to rebuild it. You know, he's, he's only making so many siege tanks per minute here. And most of that was Marine Marauder for Optimus, which he can just get right back up. They don't really mean anything. And if you can trade him better off for you. He just wants to continuously bludgeon uh, MMA until MMA is out of this game. He's going to go for the second attack again. Note that he can't leave uh, MMA can't leave his base uh, with anything like an SCV because it'll be shot down by those auto turrets. Yep. It's actually good that we're seeing auto turrets used a little bit more. Well, auto turrets are actually quite Well, they have like cases. 150 HP and they actually stay out for a really long time. So, yeah. you know, they can have a lot of utility even after a battle's won, just occupying locations. And MMA looks and like he's prepared, but oh my God, we'll see. here he goes. A lot of damage being done here, and he I think definitely he's going to target down the Banshee. That oh. actually, actually, I don't know. You know, the one siege tank on the high ground, or two rather, yep. is doing enough damage. Yeah. It looks like Optimus is going to just go around here. All those units there are very badly hurt. About one more tank splash, and most of them will die. And of course, MMA does know that. Brings in his Hellions and starts cleaning that up. And he holds, man. And but another drop. This. Ooh. Very nicely done by MMA. Continuously dropping all over the place. And actually, guys, their SCV count's pretty even with uh, MMA slightly in the lead at 38 to 31. Yeah, that's that's a pretty big deal, too, because that's where Optimus was actually making a lot of ground, was killing SCVs during these battles. But with these repeated drops, with MMA not giving up on it, the game is very close right now. And it looks like MMA is about to take a third base here. Something that's not entirely clear if Optimus is even prepared for. Mm. Optimus, as you said, Taste, he's just trying to bludgeon MMA right now. He's not made another command center yet, and he's going Marine Marauder Siege. Uh oh, tank, like. Hellions now going oh, to go into the God. main. This is going to make Optimus this actually all in. Might, yeah, Optimus, I think, will have to all in after this because, well, actually, Optimus did a really good uh, split there. He did. Uh -oh. Here he goes once again. And, oh, okay, oh, wow. now I think Optimus might be dead. He's, he's in a lot of trouble, that's for sure. It's 22 SCVs to 41, three bases against two, mech against Marine Marauder Medivac. Uh, nothing looks good right now 
for Optimus. His best shot is actually to use his medevacs to drop on top of the siege tank line yeah. of MMA because he only has one Viking or two Vikings out there right now. Even then, I think, I don't know, even if he forced the orbital to lift off and move out, I don't know if that's enough. But we'll see. You know, Optimus what? has surprised me with some of his engagements here. MMA has surprised me with some of his positioning right here. He has three siege tanks in the front of his third base, and the rest are just kind of sitting behind. Well, yeah, finally he is bringing them up. I don't even, does Optimus even know about this third base, or is he about to walk into it? I think he does know. Yeah, okay, he, does. he does know. All right. I wasn't sure if you just saw Siege Tank set up there, if you saw... Oh my god, and MMA is so smart, he realizes that, hey, my opponent is making a strong move, he's brought his SCVs out, but here we go, Optimus going around the side, MMA gonna have to reposition. Nice, nice oh, unit does movements. MMA actually know? He does okay, now! now he does! And a Siege on that high ground will make this impossible to attack up into. Looks like Optimus is going to commit anyways. Point defense drone would be beautiful here, and there it goes. Those Marauders doing absolutely nothing for a little bit at least. And as that does wear off, they do start to help out quite a bit more. But Optimus' supply is absolutely plummeting right now. Does break through, but there are some more sea shanks. But oh my god, oh my only god. a few more in the back You know here. what it is, it's the Marauders are actually just killing the siege tank so much. Yeah, he just barely had enough to actually break through everything there. I am there. actually so shocked that works. Yeah. Well, Especially you can't have just naked siege tanks. He should have had a few more units in there, he's too. He's stimming under the orbital. The orbital is getting into the red now, or will be. And if he destroys the orbital, this is going to be B-A-D. Bad. That spells bad. Well... Optimus is really surprising me with the, some of his successful attacks. Uh-oh. I bet he really wishes he finished this uh, <laughs> depot wall. Well, it did buy him some time there. And I just love this non-stop harassment by MMA. You would have think um, Optimus would have fixed this uh, little situation by now and finished that wall in. Right now it is 49 SCVs to 16 with MMA way in the lead there. But Optimus has gotten his third base up. And the army of MMA is really quite weak. Well, you know, in those low numbers, Marauders own mech. You know, the funny thing is, it's not entirely clear if MMA knows that he has that much of an SCV lead. Oh, these guys are wiggling around. All right, stop hiding, no going AWOL. And Optimus just going to have to keep up some of his aggression. But here we go, more and more aliens coming through here. Does he See, know about I that think... third base? No. Uh, he does send one Hellion over there. Oh, wow. Beautifully done right now. And he's going to just fry even more SCVs. Optimus, his economy is just falling down to nothingness. Oddly enough, though, Optimus is MacGyvering his way into staying in this game by actually uh, still having this army that's good. The problem is he has eight SCVs. So, yeah, against 49. You know, he just needs to stop this counterattack. He needs to stop being the offender uh, for the time being and just chill. Uh, MMA right now needs to just super turtle, use it, oh no, oh, that was an opportunity for Optimus. Yeah, he, he, he waited that. a second though, yeah, and now he's in a little bit more trouble. Will these SCVs be able to hold this off? That yeah, should be GG actually. And Optimus just is having nothing left, man. It's getting worse and worse for him, but he did, he killed off a good amount of SCVs there. 28 SCVs to 12 at the moment. This is the most low econ TVT I think I've ever casted. Like, we're there on three bases. Yeah, we're at 27 minute mark, and they are still sitting here struggling to have any SCVs. Neither of them really defending well at all, to be perfectly frank. Both of them are defending quite poorly, which, well, at the same time, are being aggressive in quite nice ways. You know, it's oh, a two headed coin. Out. It's not a one headed coin, actually. No, man, it's a two headed those, coin, right? man. All right. Three sides, two heads, and a tails. That's what it's all about, Tasteless. <laughs> Try coin. All right, taking out this Hellion. 41 supply to 83. MMA way in the lead there. What a messy, messy game. 36 this is, SVs to 13. This wow. is the messiest. This is like the mud wrestling TVT. <laughs> All right. A fourth orbital now floating, or is that actually, no, that's actually the orbital from his main. Is it, can you check for me? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, okay. Oh, wow. So he's but, actually. Oh, no, wait, that's not. That's actually his third, and he's floating his main to somewhere else. So oh, okay. take a fourth. All right, that was confusing. And um, he has those uh, well, sensor towers that. up. Beautiful use of sensor towers, good place. MMA got these sensor towers a little bit late, but um, 
it's going to pay off now because, uh-oh. That's why you want to have sensor towers in this phase of the game. Well, nothing he can do now. Tasteless losing so many SCVs there once again. All three Hellions escape. 11 SCVs at 35. Wow. That is some pretty poor economy. And, well, MMA just kind of following those those exclamation points around the sensor towers. It really looks like MMA should be able to take this relatively easily, just keep on making some more units, you know, push out somewhat slowly, and just Marines and Marauders, literally there's like one medevac on the map, almost no economy for optimus, he just simply will not be able to stop anything more than once. Maybe one more time he can stop an actual aggression, and then MMA should be able to just roll him over. The economy difference is just too great. Well, I've never seen a Terran like Optimus get... <laughs> you get down to eight SCVs and he's like still in the game. Yeah. Let me tell you, the MMA is going to have to keep on trying, too. This is like not a game that's actually over. Quite true. Hellions just keep on doing some great harassment with that plus two, and with that blue flame, they're doing 28 damage per shot. Splash damage to light units like Marines and SCVs. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick indeed. It means they one shot is, anything. This is or the moment shot. where uh, MMA can actually, I believe, just overwhelm his opponent. Yeah. He's going to have to siege, siege up half, then the other half. And nice, nice split here. Doing the best he can, but that's going to be a GG. And there it that is. That was a perfectly timed out GG as well, Artosis. Not quite as good as yours, but I try. You're good, man. Well, MMA, look, he won that game, but I think right now MMA is looking at that situation like, Jesus, man, that guy had eight SCVs and I was still having, like, struggle to kill him. Optimus is actually terrifying Terran vs. Terran. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that was that was a wild game, I have to say. There was just so much back and forth with SCV numbers. And, uh, you know, there were so many times that MMA got broke where I felt like he shouldn't have gotten broke. But at the same time, he's dropping Blue Flame Hellions and coming right back into the game. If, if, uh, uh, Optimus, if. Okay, I understand. Optimus had just defended um, his workers, he would have won that game. There were like four yeah. or five times where he should have won yeah, that like game. Yeah, like two Blue Flames just running in and killing everything. Yeah, he was We had so many right moments where, like, Optimus somehow wins this battle back uh in MMA's expansion, we're like, wow, Optimus is really good. Then and we're like, oh, but two Blue Flame Hellions killed all his SCVs. Exactly. You know, there's, it's, it's, it is hard at some times to actually defend against the Blue Flame Hellion drops. But, it I is. mean, imagine a sensor tower, 100 minerals, 100 gas. Yeah. You're going to see it coming. You're going to be able to save your SCVs for the most part. Yeah, and even just a sensor tower. He had tower. done that one time early on. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he would have or, been able. Or it would have been a much different wall game. That wall, wall would help too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at his uh, near the outside of his second base, his supply dropped so much. He's like, I can't build any more depots. I'll look like a nub. Yeah, he's like, well, I only have eight SCVs. I, I need to, I can't take one of those SCVs off to finish that wall in. Yeah. All right. Our next map is going to be Taldirum Altar, and we're going to get that underway momentarily here, as the countdown has started. MMA against Optimus. Two excellent Terrans, but only one will move on. Let's find out who that's going to be. Now the game is loading, and we're going to get this underway. I'm Tasteless. With me is Artosis. Together, we are the Casting Archon here at the GSL Codex.